Good evening and welcome to this evening prayer. I have to say, I think I mentioned before, I'm finding this one of my favourite times of the day uh, as we gather together in prayer and uh, the opportunity to reflect on the day and God's blessings. I had quite a long lunch. <laughs> we started at one, we've not long finished. Our excuse is we won't make a habit of this. Our excuse is that Father Tristan has been here. It's been a real pleasure meeting with him, um, talking about uh, the parish and about priesthood uh, and about the future. I think I speak for Father Roy and I when I say we have a really good feel uh, about uh, the, the blessings to come. I first met uh, Father Tristan when he was a member of the Arundel uh, Choir uh, where his uh, family are. Uh, whenever I went there, it seemed that he'd been chosen to do the canting because uh, he has uh, a fantastic voice. So that is going to mean I'm slightly uh, outmaneuvered now. You'll discover there is um, uh, singing uh, two out of the three clergy, particularly when it comes to the evening prayer. But I hope you'll, you'll bear with me um, when I, I remain uh, uh, just with the speech. However, we praise God, be it in speech or in song. Uh, the, the Psalms invite us to reflect on his action in the world, on the many blessings which he bestows upon us, conscious too of the people in need of his blessing, in need of his strength. And after we've concluded the Psalms, we will turn to God again, asking uh, those intercessions uh, that you have been uh, sending in. We begin by reflecting with Mary as she, in a sense, began to uh, her ministry as she gives her yes to God. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. O strength and stay, upholding all creation, whoever dost thyself unmoved abide, yet day by day the light in due gradation, from hour to hour in all its changes guide. Grant to life's day a calm, unclouded ending, an eve untouched by shadows of decay, the brightness of a holy deathbed blending with dawning glories of the eternal day. Hear us, O Father, gracious and forgiving, through Jesus Christ, thy co-eternal word, who with the Holy Ghost by all things living, now and to endless ages art adorned. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in the time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine 
and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall sing and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the king. How your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head the crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your glory. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. Think of the love that the Father has lavished upon us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, because we shall see him as he really is. Your word, O Lord, will endure forever. Your truth will last from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me, holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud-hearted. 
He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My spirit exalts in the Lord God, my Saviour. Through Christ, we are children of God. In him we see what we shall be when we come to the Father. With confidence we pray. Guide leaders and governments. Give them wisdom and integrity. You are the Lord and source of our freedom. Bring those in captivity of mind or body to the freedom of the children of God. Give courage and strength to the young. Help them to choose their work and make the right decisions for their way of life. Give patient tolerance to all who are no longer young. Open the hearts of the young to accept from them understanding and love. Receive the departed into your eternal kingdom. Sustain our hope to reign with you forever. Thanks for the appointment of Father Tristan to the team. We pray that his ministry will be blessed and fruitful for him and for the church. And on this evening when the parish coordinating group meets, we give thanks too for, for the gifts and for the time that people are willing to give in the service of the parish. We pray for all who minister in our communities. Jasmine asks that we might include a prayer for Eve, uh, her, their friend Nadine's father, who will undergo a medical procedure on Tuesday morning to determine the, the cause uh, of his medical issues. We pray also for Nadine, who is caring for, is taking care of both elderly parents, working and raising her children. May she continue to find the strength spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Asked to pray for a son, Sebastian, returning from abroad on Wednesday with an injury, that he may return safely and recover quickly. Jocelyn asks that we might offer prayers for the healing of Jesse's health. Russell asks that we might pray for Wynn, that her operation for cataract removal tomorrow will be successful and that she will be in no pain or discomfort. Diana asks uh, that we might pray for her son, uh, Zachary, for God's blessing for him and good health. We ask too to pray for Aleskia, apologies if I've said that wrong, Aleskia Banas on his 61st birthday. Brenda asks it might light a candle for the full recovery of David Kelly. Continue our prayers uh, for Jack Manners Spencer who died yesterday, and for all those who've gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. Remember too, all those who mourn. And we pray for all those to whom we've promised our intercession and our prayer.
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We give you thanks, Lord God Almighty, for bringing us safely to the evening of this day. We humbly ask that the prayer we make with uplifted hands may be an offering pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you again for being part of this parish ministry. I wish you a blessed and holy evening. And as the prayer concludes, and a perfect end. With that confidence looking towards God, that we conclude with the Salve Regina. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Ducedo, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Carmanus, Exules Filii Eve, A Te Suspiramus, Gementes et Flentes, in hac laquimarum vale. Ea rego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes loquilos, ad nos convete. Et Jesum, benedictum fruntum ventris tui, Nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O duchis virgo maria. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ.